Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and today we're going to look at adding a select all toggle to our gallery that will work like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a toggle to our screen. So we'll search for toggle, and we're going to drop it right above here. So as you can see, it's quite large right now. So we're going to decrease the size. I'm going to say 40 by 20. And we're going to hide the label since we don't need a label to be shown. Um, when it's turned on or off, we could just tell by the color. So after we add that, we're actually just going to copy it and we're going to paste it in the gallery below. So I'm just going to copy and paste it down here. And we'll try to line this up just slightly over. So let's try to go to five. Okay, so we're pretty close there. And we should name these as well, these toggles. Uh, the reason why is because we're going to reference them in um, an action that we're going to perform later on. So we're going to say toggle. Um, this will be our select all. And this will be our toggle item selected. So right now, if I were to you know, test this out, you see nothing really happens with the select all. So if we go back to our app and we go to the default property of our toggle in the gallery, what we could do is you see how the default is false here. We can switch this to toggle select all value. So when we do that, you'll see how it turns on and off. Okay, and you'll see here if I select some and I can turn them off or if I select multiple, I can turn them all on or off. So this is how it's easy to, you know, turn all the toggles on or off at the same time. Now, this is all great, but what do, what do we want to do with the records in the gallery here? So this is where we're going to add the icons to deactivate and activate the records. So here, I'm going to go and search for icon. Um, over here, I'm just going to drop it down. And we're going to add, I think it's 25 by 25 here. And this is going to be our icon deactivate. So we'll create the deactivate first. And we'll switch it to an X. Um, so obviously this is more like a delete. It's not really a deactivate looking icon, but at least it gives us an idea of what to use with this select all toggle. So what we're going to do is with the on select, we're going to actually loop through the gallery and update any record that's toggled to yes to deactivate it. So we're going to do a for all, and we're going to filter the gallery all items and what we're going to say is where this record dot and we're going to look at the toggle and we're going to say value equals true okay and then from here what we're going to do is say as gal item so it's just easy way for us to define what each item is um, so that we can reference it later down when we do the update. So after we uh, do the for all and we um, filter to our record set that we need, we're going to do a patch. And in this case, we're going to update the accounts table. And so this gallery here is referencing a collection. So what I have to do is actually look up the record that we're referencing here. So I'm going to say look up accounts and we're going to say where this uh, record dot account equals gal item dot account okay so this is the record we're going to update and then from here we're going to say the status is inactive Okay, so it's a pretty simple update here. We're going to close this, close the patch, close the filter, 
or I close the for all, and then we're we're good. So after this is done, um, one thing that you'll notice that I mentioned before is my items here actually reference a account list collection. So I have to update that after I patch all the records. So in here, what I'm going to do is actually grab the query that collects that list and just paste it in here. So I'm just requerying the collection. So I'm just grabbing from accounts and I have a special column there just to expand and collapse the, the column or sorry, the row. And then once I'm done here, what I want to do is reset the select all toggle so that no records are selected. So basically we know that we made an update and then it hides everything. Uh, hides, uh, sets the toggle to false. So we're gonna set the select all toggle. Okay, so if we go into here and we select all, and let's say we deselect some of them, we're going to click the X here and it's going through all the records and you'll see them all update to inactive. Okay, and then we refreshed our collection. So that's why we have most current data here. And you see how the select all was reset to false. So it in turn turned all the gallery items toggles to false. So what we could do is the opposite. So we could copy this icon here and we could say it's activate. And we'll put a check mark here. And then I'm just gonna shift it back slightly just so it's a bit separated. And then from here, we're going, all we're going to do is just simply swap this out and say it's, it's active, okay? So at this point, what I can do is I can, you know, select some or I could select all and activate. And this will obviously do the reverse. It'll move any that are inactive to active. So hopefully this demo will give you a good example of how you can use the select all in your app. And um, it's quite simple to implement. And uh, most of the work is actually on, you know, performing the actions on the rows that are selected.